right before Chris and I hopped on, I was just telling her about a new new term that I had learned, and, and it kind of you know plays off a little bit of the the storytelling, but it's called client telling. And and if you're in the service uh, of you know selling or retail or e-commerce or any of that, that client telling is similar to the storytelling. Like you get to learn the narrative of your clients so that they're telling you what they're looking for, what they shop the most, when they, how often they shop, what their their frequency, their, their needs, their expectations are. And so you learn a lot from your client telling that can be used into your brand storytelling. And so bringing those two, if you're it's kind of a little trick that I just learned, but I don't know if it's been yeah. around for a while, but I just learned it. So I, haven't, it I haven't heard that term before, but I really love it. And the way I interpret that term client telling is really positioning your communication in a way that invites your client into a narrative with you. So your, your, your communication is based on what's important to your client, what do they care about? And if we do nothing else, like that's the most powerful thing that we can do with our communication is really deeply care about our clients and communicate to them around the things that they care about and that matter to them, their dreams, their pains, their struggles, um, their goals, all of that stuff that we're all kind of scanning the environment <laughs> it's really interesting. I what is something that makes you feel like your best and most confident self? Like, what does that look like for you? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what comes to mind and it's totally ridiculous because I, <laughs> and I haven't done it in years, but I, I'm, my heritage is Welsh. So I'm like really, really fair skinned and every now and then I will go in and get a spray tan and I love the way it makes me feel like I have more color to my face and my body and I just I feel confident when I have like the spray tan now I haven't done it in probably I don't know five years but that is what popped into my head when you shared that when you asked me that question well, that's so fun it, it's so <laughs> funny how just the little things can just make us feel so different right yeah. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you for sharing that. Oh my gosh. I'm so embarrassed. No, about the answer I love it. Question. I love it. <laughs> so, funny thing, I'm a former fitness competitor, so I had to do all that spray tanning. Oh, nooks and crannies. So, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Yeah. My friends, my friends joke with me that my skin tone is more of an alabaster like it has like a slight blue tone to it because i'm so fair <laughs> um so yeah nice good spray tan yeah is, uh, is the remedy well i i guess you'll have to put a spray tan on your on your schedule sometime soon <laughs> no ah I, yeah i think now that i have a son it's just like you know, finding time for things like that, even getting a manicure or pedicure is challenging. But um, but yes, I'm glad we talked about this today. This winter, I am get, gonna enjoy five days of feeling tan until it washes off.